My name is Ziggy Egan, and I am a junior advocate for the Texas Humane Network. My family rescued a dog, Fern, from the Houston Humane Society. Before joining our family, Fern's life was miserable. Fern was used in a dog fighting ring. Criminals trained dogs to kill each other for money. When they rescued Fern, she was tethered with a heavy chain. She had no food and dirty water. She was skinny, had fleas, and a skin infection. The Houston Humane Society rescued Fern and 14 other dogs, and her owner was arrested. We brought her home the day before Thanksgiving. She was so scared and did not leave her cage. I wanted to play with her, but my parents said that Fern didn't trust us because humans were so cruel to her. Fern improves every day. She loves to zoom around the backyard, and she loves her walks. I hope that THLN can pass a law where the dogs who live outside are not weighed down by heavy chains. Dogs like Fern need a doghouse so they can get out of rain and the hot sun. The Texas legislature should look at how our great leaders treated animals. Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president, was the first president to stand up for animals. When his schoolmates tortured turtles by putting hot coals on their backs, Abraham Lincoln yelled at them and told them to stop because it was wrong to abuse an animal. Dogs are amazing. Did you know that a stray dog named Rags saved soldiers in World War I? Did you know that on 9-11, a guide dog named Rousseau brought her owner and others down 80 flights of stairs to safety? Did you know that dogs are the best bomb detectors? So why does Texas allow thousands of dogs to be chained up and forgotten? I hope you will join me and other junior advocates at the Texas Capitol in 2021. We can get dogs off chains. We can make sure they have dog houses and the shelter they need. We can be their voice. We can legislate to change their fate. Thank you.